all of this talk about milestones, what actually makes a milestone a good milestone or makes something that you list on a calendar as a good milestone? Well, let's talk about those. First of all, you don't want too many. Ten or so milestones covering the gambit, um, but they should occur relatively close in. One thing that's a red flag on a plan is if you have milestones that are three years out or five years out, what are people doing for the next 18 months and three years? I mean, nothing, no milestones? You don't know what your progress is? No. You want to have things 10 to 12, something like that, over the next 18 months or so, maybe a few further out, that give you a sense that this, prog this business, this project, this plan, this venture is on track and you can watch those things be checked off. Progress is being made. Those are the things that you want to look for. And you can look back when you're halfway through them six months from now and say, boy, I've made a lot of progress. We've had a lot of success. We have a prototype product. We've proven our market. Da, 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 da. You go right down the list. It should describe an event. It should be something that is that you can actually know happens. As we said before, it's a discrete thing that happens, that occurs, something that you check off that, that you can see or observe that actually happened. But in addition, you know that because it happened, you don't feel there's as much risk anymore. You've done a focus group or you've done a survey and you've shown that people show, at least in the survey, a willingness to pay four or five dollars for whatever it is your product or service is. That was your plan and you've now gotten, gotten some real empirical feedback that your plan actually makes sense. It's believable. Now you maybe haven't sold anything yet. That happens when you have your first months of sales and you divide your revenue by your unit sales and you see that you're actually realizing that five dollars. That's another milestone. But each time one of these occurs something has happened that allows you to say my assumptions are being validated. And that's how you step along and you move forward. One thing to do is to say, because you never quite know when you're going to get kicked off, when you're going to have the funding or the support that you need to get going. So sometimes you say it'll be three months beyond the time of we close our first round of funding. You're asking people, investors, partners to give you $100,000 to pay your leases and hire some people, whatever. Uh, you say, after that funding is closed, I have money in the bank, that's our starting gun. Three months after that, we'll have a uh, product developed. That sort of thing is sometimes how you do that. You lay it out. You also want to have milestones that not only follow the parts of your business, but also look at planning and starting up, things like product development. We've talked about those before in terms of technology risks. But you have to get some sort of product or service out there. You have to get marketing. You have people to know about you so there should be milestones in that context and getting your operations up and running your business performance all of those kinds of things are very um, you need to have milestones in them because remember you want this complete list and actually we'll talk more about this at our next venture but you have to have a complete list of all of the things that once you've checked them all off it works you haven't left something out so let's take a look at a couple possibilities and see if which you think is a better milestone. Say you're doing an application development project. What's better? Uh, 10,000 downloads or 10,000 paid downloads so that $10,000 of monthly revenue is achieved. Which is a better milestone? Well, the first one shows that people actually will download your product, but the second one shows you that you have a possible business going here, right? So which is it, would you say? The answer, check your answer on the next, uh, in, uh, when I pause, there'll be a moment to, to answer this question. Next one, which is better? Software development begins, or you have the specifications for your software finalized. You know what you're going to develop, and you now your software development begins. Which of those is a better milestone? I'll pause. And finally, which is better? You've hired five employees, or an experienced sales manager was fired, was hired, I'm sorry, <laughs> period sales manager was hired, which is better, I'll pause. Excellent, so as we close, just on this last one, note that five employees, that's really just spending money, you can hire them all you want, and, it, and you have complete control over that, that's not a milestone, you could just bring five people in and hire them, 
But to get someone with the right skills and experience to come in and join your team, your senior team, that's a milestone because you've taken risk out of your business. We'll continue this discussion ne and next time when we talk about the various areas again in more detail about where your milestones should be. We'll see you then.